Astros versus Angels. The Angels are plus 130 on the money line. The Astros are minus 155. The over-under is eight and a half runs. The Angels, getting a run and a half, are minus 160, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. If they lose by one, you win. The Astros, laying a run and a half, are plus 135, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Lorenzen pitched once against the Astros this year. Three and a third, four runs, four earned. They lost that game eight to three. And Javier pitched twice against the Angels this year. It was more of appearances. One and two thirds, no runs, no earned. They lost two nothing. Three and two thirds, no runs, no earned. They lost six nothing. The Angels are on a one game winning streak. They are 16 and 18 on the road this year. And they are at six and six as a team with Lorenzen on the mound. The Astros are on a three game winning streak. They are 21 and 11 at home. And they are 6-4 as a team with Javier on the mound. Head-to-head, -head, the road team's on a two-game winning streak. The Angels are on a two-game winning streak. The Astros are 6-4 against the Angels in their last 10. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five, And the over-under 8.5 is also 5-5. Five and five. The over is 15 and 6 in their last 21 games in Houston, and the Astros are 22 and 9 in their last 31 games against the Angels. The Astros are also 47 and 23 in their last 70 games against the Angels. So I'm going to take the Astros with the money line, the Astros with the runs, and the over. This could come back to bite me because it's seeming that the Angels have been playing much better against the Astros as of late, but we shall see. Let's see if the numbers are right. Let's see if the numbers are wrong. As always, these are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.